Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about Microsoft Excel. So let's start by firing it up. Here we have Microsoft Excel. It is, it's organized in terms of workbooks, which are, which are further broken down into worksheets. And we'll get to all of that, but first let's start off by saving this workbook. So we go into, sorry, I did that too fast. So we go into File, Save As, and in this dialog box, we find where we want to save. So let's, in this case, just save it in the desktop and call it Lecture 1. Now that it's saved, we can close this one and open it up again. Here we see the file Lecture 1. And we can double click this file or we can go through the, we can go through the Excel window directly. So let's do that latter. Here we have Microsoft Excel again. And you know what? Instead of opening the lecture, let's open a demo file that I had drawn up. Here we have a demo file. I mean, here, this file tells us, this data tells us public holidays in different countries in the months of October, November, and December. One means it's a holiday, zero means it's a working day. It does not, zero is also used for weekends here. Here we have all the data organized into the cells of Excel. Cells are again organized in columns and rows. And we'll get to that in subsequent lectures. Um, let's say we want the, the heading and we wanted the heading to be in bold. So we select it like such by clicking and dragging the mouse. Over here in the ribbon, we have B, which is for bold. So see now everything is bold in the first row. Let's talk about this ribbon for a second. The ribbon contains all the tools that you get to use within Excel. And it's further divided up into these tabs up top. Home, Insert, Page Layout, Formulas, Data, it's Review, and View. Again, we'll talk about all of these tools in subsequent lectures. Uh, but in this one, we want to talk a little bit more about the worksheets and what do they entail. So here we are working with the data worksheet. Uh, let's say we want just the, just the information for Melbourne and France and not anything else. So let's start up a new worksheet within the same workbook and call this worksheet Mel Fra. To rename it again, I double clicked it and I was able to change the name just by typing it. We can go here and we can select the date, day, day name, and copy that over. Once we have all this information here, we want Melbourne and France. Again, so let's do that one more time. We drag, we click and drag all the way down. And there are various shortcuts to doing this, which we'll get to in subsequent videos. But for now, we have selected this one. We right click and we say copy. And we paste that here. We go back to data. Now we want France. We again drag it all the way down. right click copy and here we have and here we right click and hit paste again let's go through that dialog box one more time because it was a bit confusing so we have paste here and we have a bunch of paste options as well which will paste different things or paste the same things a bit differently and we'll go over these in subsequent lectures again then talking about worksheets though we can add a new one Say we call this one intermediate step. This would be any intermediate step you would need to take between getting from your raw data to, I can't spell, intermediate step you'd need to take to get from your raw data to your final results. So here, and we want this to be in between, right next to data actually, because it's, it's a step right after data. So we click it and drag it over one. 
And here we have it next to data. Again, it didn't change what we had in Melfra, nor did it change what we had in data. Well, maybe we don't need the in oh sorry, we maybe we don't need the intermediate step. And it's not. So let's just delete it. So we right click on the tab at the bottom and hit delete and it's gone. Now let's say we want to copy over Melfra. Let's say we want to copy over Melfra and into a new one. What we can do in that case is select all, which we do by clicking this button up over here. Once we have it all selected, we say copy again, create a new sheet, right click, and paste. So this has been an introduction to Excel and the very basic things you can do with it. In, next, in the next video, we'll talk about entering data, manipulating it in terms of text, string, text numbers, and dates. Stay tuned. Thank you.